I'm disgusted with the guys that strap on those uniforms. Make plays! You're at home! At night! Third largest crowd in the history of that stadium! With a 37-21 lead! Make plays! Don't sit there and pucker! Make plays! You don't sit there and turn to your quarterback and with a puppy dog look and say, help us! We don't know what we're doing out here! Help us! Make plays! Stand together as a team and make plays! I, mean, I think the rant worked. First off, Michigan State ended up being an elite program now. They've won Big Tens, they went to the Rose Bowl, went to the college football playoff. We had to go hire the savior in order to get it back. How many times are they not gonna finish an opponent? The whole country's laughing at you. The whole country's laughing at us. Desmond Howard's on TV Saturday night, laughing at us, cackling. <laughs> What I saw on Saturday night in a driving rain with my onions soaked, with my voice shattered, was an out and out choke job. <laughs> now let's play the blame game. Everybody wants to know, what does Mikey D think? Whoa, whoa, Mike must be real upset. Yeah, no, no, really? You know, I worked with Mike a long time. I was in the office that day when he had his rant about Notre Dame. And you know what? I didn't care what Mike had to say. In fact, tell you what, I picked Notre Dame to win that game. So what Mike had to say, I wasn't paying attention to. Michigan State sat there and choked on applesauce. They choked. Sounds like you choked. They choked. I have kids. They've never choked on applesauce. It's a terrible metaphor. Couldn't this guy have come with some a little bit more preparation? So no, I'm not gonna name names. But they absolutely choked. Okay, hey, time, let's Shut whoa, up, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm no, not no, 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 let's take a time out. You're not gonna be able to finish. If Mike, you you're, you're losing know your why voice. My voice Mike, is stop. Gone. It's you're losing your voice already. I was busy firing up my section. This guy's going on and on and on. I just cheered just to shut him up. I did my job. I paid my $75 and I got a bunch of old asses off their feet into the air and got them cheering their ass off. Note to John L. Smith, learn the effing rules and understand that your timeouts are not like cell phone minutes. They don't carry over. Second of all, shame on this coaching staff for puckering. It is evident to me they cannot coach with a lead. 38-17 in Notre Dame last year. Pucker, pucker, pucker. So in my many years as a practicing proctologist, we found that puckering of the anus leads directly to fumbles and poor play on the football field. The Michigan State Notre Dame game is our direct case study. <laughs> You are the worst defensive coordinator ever. I would rather have HR puffing stuff with Teddy Ruxpin as an assistant than to have you in this booth one more week. You're atrocious. I don't even understand why you had to bring Teddy's name into it. What did Teddy do? In 2005, the guy was trying to make a comeback. This Valenti guy goes on a rant, mentions him and HR puffing stuff. Next thing you know, he's ruined the career for all bears. Think about it. I actually haven't seen Teddy since 2007. Thanks a lot, Valen. You ruined the career for all bears. It wasn't until Ted came out that we even got a chance, a chance at making a name for ourselves. I just dropped my father off at the airport. Guy feels terrible about himself. Had to watch another one of these things 640 miles. Thank you, Northwest. What's this guy bought and paid for? He's throwing a shameless plug into a rant? I bet that guy didn't pay for Northwest Airline tickets for like 10 years after that. What a joke. You know what the sick part is? He only gets to one game a year, and this is at least the third time he's caught this crap. I'm tired, I'm sick, I'm disgusted, I'm hurt, I'm angry, I run, I run the gamut. I got a car where all four of my car seats are soaked! Two days later! 